everyone. As promised, we're here with Steve Herod, and we're actually going to ask your questions to Steve. Um, so Steve, welcome, and thank you very much for uh, giving us this opportunity. Uh, we've had a couple of user questions. Sure. First question was about Horizon Suite. Yep. Um, why are Zimbra and Social Cost not part of the Horizon Suite? Oh, interesting question. Um, in some ways, I'll give you an interesting answer maybe. Uh, in some ways, uh, Zimbra will be in the sense that a lot of companies deploy it as web software. And so uh, you could imagine people, when they create their multi-device workspace, one of the uh, app catalog items you could go to is your Zimbra mailbox. So it's an application that could get plumbed through as one of your app store items. That's how I use it every day at VMware. Uh, it becomes integrated there with single sign-on, et cetera. So I would think of Zimbra as an application in, in this concept. Um, social cast is a much more deep question, which maybe the, the user was thinking about. Uh, we see social collaboration ultimately being built into everything we do, and we want to bring collaboration to where you're working. Um, so we haven't announced anything yet, but you can certainly imagine that we're thinking about how collaboration fits in with this new type of workspace, um, how things like Octopus are going to have files, but also discussions going on around them. Uh, so your user's right, we haven't announced anything explicit there, um, but we do see the core social ability being core to what we do. Okay, well that sounds good and definitely an interesting answer. Um, another question that we have was around competition. Competition is more uh, visible nowadays, but some people at home feel that we're maybe ignoring competition. What's your view on that? Well, I think um, today was probably one of the most interesting set of announcements from VMware in that for the first time we really talked about interoperability with non-VMware platforms for the first time. Uh, we, we rolled out a plugin that you can download that lets vCenter actually control and manage uh, Hyper-V. So we're allowing you to manage, if you have a, a small pool of Hyper-V somewhere, you can talk to the hypervisor, start up virtual machines, and come back out. Uh, and then the second thing we spent quite a bit of time on was, uh, we call it the multi-cloud environment, but um, I really think about that as different pools of infrastructure. Some might be hardware, some might be a public cloud, and some might be something else. And you know, candidly, we've got very strong feedback from our customers. VMware is our platform of choice. It's the place we're betting. More than half of our apps are running on it. But we are going to have other pools too, and we would like help dealing with that. Um, so getting around to your question, I, I think we're, we're actually maturing in quite a bit of ways by acknowledging that some of these other pools exist out there, and in the areas where customers really push us, we're delivering on it. And again, just to kind of highlight the three areas that I think are important, uh, networking by definition connects everything together. So that's why our NYSERA acquisition is so important for being heterogeneous. Uh, management at a very top level is what everyone, you know, they would love that to be something that works across all these platforms. Our dynamic ops acquisition, uh, which we now call vCloud Automation Center, is squarely focused on a, a top level workflow for that. And then lastly, uh, what we've been doing for two years, uh, Cloud Foundry is how we see the way of simply writing applications in the future that can run anywhere, on Amazon, on a vCloud partner, uh, even on your Fusion laptop. Um, so I, I do think we're, uh, we're certainly seeing what's out there with the competition. We never stop moving, but we also are embracing and, and trying to do what our customers want, which is help them deal with it. Okay, that sounds really good. You mentioned a lot of innovation, a lot of new products. Uh, one question that popped into my mind is someone that asked it a while ago, is what happened to Project App Blast that we announced ah. last year and has now sort of moved into other products, I think, but can you explain a little bit about that? Yeah, yeah, App Blast we made quite a splash on, probably more than we expected to uh, last year. Uh, the basic idea is we showed how you can deliver remoting technologies over HTML primitives uh, to virtually any browser. Um, so tomorrow morning is my keynote on end-user computing, and we're going to talk about a lot of different things, and one of the things that will come up is how App Blast has evolved. Uh, but rest assured, we, we care deeply about using HTML as the ultimate delivery mechanism, uh, but we see it applying to far more use cases than just the App Blast one we originally talked about. Okay, so stay tuned for tomorrow's keynote then for App Blast. Um, Steve, thanks very much for this. There's also a prize that we promised the users. Right. Um, so we're going to give away a t-shirt and we're going to ask you to sign it, so that will happen a bit later on. Uh, but which of the three questions, so the App Blast, the Horizon Suite, or the competition, do you think should win this? Boy, I didn't know I had to get put on the, on the spot for that. <laughs> um, you know, I think the, the, the question around how Zimbra and SocialCast fit into the future is a, is a valid one a lot of people want to know. Um, and I also think there's some really interesting things you'll see over time there. So I liked all the questions, but I'll, I'll go ahead and vote for that one. Okay, well, thank you very much. And we'll make sure that the t-shirt comes to that user. Thank you very much for asking the questions. And be sure to watch tomorrow's keynote live if you're not here, and obviously live in the room um, if you are here. And um, see you again soon for the next video. Okay, thanks. Thanks.